all right in this video let's implement generics with our employee data example so first of all i'll comment it i'll say mixins because we were using mixins for this two classes right and i will comment the whole thing here okay, i'll comment both of these you can either use this one or you can use triple quotation for bulk comment triple quotation start and you end it here okay so all this code is commented now now what we need to do is we need to actually again create a class employees employees just make sure the class is correct otherwise it will give you the error because uh, we have specified views dot employees here right so that's why the class name should also be employees all right so this uh, employees class will actually take generics dot list api view okay i'll first show you the list api view and i will also show you how we can use create api view as well all right so i'll pass it for now and i will simply create one more class which is employee detail I just want to get rid of these errors you'll say genetics dot for this we will first take a retrieve api view i'll pass it for now okay so to just put colon here okay so let's take this example first we will list down all the employees from the database so for that we have used generics dot list api view so this list api view will actually give you all the data from the database okay so this class will now accept two attributes which is the query set okay which is the query set just like how you used the query set here right so this one will also be same okay query set equal to employee dot objects dot all and we actually want to uh, fetch all the data right so that's why we are using all but you can also use a filter okay in some other project if you are working so this can be anything this is just the orm okay so this is how you query the database using django now we have the query set right after that it also accepts the serializer class okay serializer class and the serializer that we have created is employee serializer okay that's it okay so now the moment you create this generic view just say generics okay i'll here also i'll put the comment generics okay so now our employees view is ready if you you know if you refresh it now you see all the list of data from the database and it also gives you the http 200 status code as well because we are inheriting the api view right so this list api view will actually accept the incoming request and it will also sends out the structured response as well with the status code that's what we are seeing here okay now what you see here we don't have any kind of uh, form here right we don't have any html form or a raw form so that's because we are only extending the list api view so list api view will only allow you to list down the objects it will not allow you to create the objects if you want to create the objects then what you need to do is you should actually say comma generics dot create api view okay generics dot create api view remember we also have the combination of list api view and create api view right but i'll show you how to use that right now this employee class is inheriting list api view and create api view that means now our endpoint will allow us to create the data if you refresh now you see we have the form right now if i say emp id emp 003 and i'll say joe i'll say ai engineer you click on put and you see we have the response http 201 created and let's go back to the list of employees and you see we have three data right 
so it is very simple right we extended generic start list api view and create api view and our api endpoint is ready all right so instead of using generic start list api view and create api view separately we can simply use generic dot list create api view okay so this one class will take care of both the things listing the objects and creating the objects just save it and refresh it you see we still have this html form okay now if you want emp004 and uh, mike and let's say software engineer post and we have one more data right 201 created go back to employees and you see this endpoint is ready all right so similarly we also need to create this employee detail view right so we'll take care of this in the next one